how can we expect someone else to be our safe place if we haven't become one for ourselves? Because a lot of people, I just want a safe space. I just want a safe space. How can we become one for ourselves first? Okay? Because no one can be that for you if you are not that for yourself. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another moment with joy. And I'm so excited to be here today with you. And y'all already know what time it is. This is our time to heal, evolve, and transform together in a sacred space. And every Thursday, I'm so excited to be with each and every last one of you. And because of you, we have reached over 10K subscribers because y'all always share the love. I can always depend on y'all to not only send this to two people, but how many people? Five. We have up the ante to sending this love to five people because you never know what a person might need. And these episodes definitely, I know for a fact, will empower and push someone to be better, to feel better, to see, to be seen, to feel loved. Because I'm pouring love on y'all every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm so grateful that each of you show up for yourselves to transform, to heal, to evolve. And that is amazing. Okay? So today is just like any other Thursday. We're, we're dropping love, okay? And before we start this beautiful episode, make sure you subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell so you can get notifications every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, and today we're going to explore a powerful question. And I hear this often from a lot of my clients. Um, And the question came from a few people. How can we expect someone else to be our safe place if we haven't become one for ourselves? Because a lot of people, I just want a safe space. I just want a safe space. How can we become one for ourselves first? Okay? Because no one can be that for you if you are not that for yourself. And that's what we're talking about today. And it's a profound realization that the foundation of our relationships is built upon the love and safety we cultivate within ourselves. To truly love our neighbors, our friends, and partners, we must first love ourselves so let's dive in and let's explore this journey of becoming our own safe place have you ever found yourself seeking comfort and security in another person yearning for them to be your safe harbor it's a common common thing but the truth is if we aren't safe with ourselves we cannot expect someone else to love us properly Our ability to love our neighbor as ourself is intricately tied to how we love ourselves. Because you can't love your neighbor if you don't love yourself. It's just impossible. And a lot of people love other people more than they love themselves, and it's so unhealthy. But what happens when we struggle to love ourselves, Joy? When we don't see our own worth and rely on others to validate our value, we become vulnerable to their attitudes and their opinions. Okay, our sense of self-worth fluctuates and we may find ourselves constantly seeking external validation. I can remember not really truly understanding what it meant to feel safe with me. I thought I had it down packed for a long time. I realized that I had a lot of a lot, a lot of work to do to cultivate that personal safety. And there can be various reasons why a person may not feel safe with themselves. And here are a few common factors. I want to name a few. Self-criticism and negative self-talk. When individuals constantly criticize themselves, doubt their abilities, or engage in negative self-talk, it creates an internal environment of self-doubt and insecurity. This can destroy their sense of safety and self-trust. Okay? Past trauma or hurtful experiences. That's another one. Experiencing trauma or hurtful events in the past can deeply impact one's sense of safety. They may carry emotional wounds and develop a fear of vulnerability or trusting themselves due to past pain. 
What's another one? Lack of self-acceptance. If individuals struggle to accept themselves as they are, including their flaws, imperfections, and mistakes, it can create an inner turmoil that hampers their ability to feel safe within their own being. Um, Another one is external validation dependency. That's relying on everybody else's approval, everybody else's acceptance in order to make you feel worthy. Relying on external validation, approval, and acceptance from everybody else to feel worthy can make individuals feel insecure and unsafe within themselves. Their self-worth becomes like... Their self-worth only matters if it's this other person's opinions. Okay? That's what that is. And we got to get over that. But here's the thing. Self-love is not a destination. It's a journey, y'all. It's a daily practice of embracing our flaws, celebrating our strengths, and recognizing our worthiness. It's about accepting ourselves as beautifully imperfect beings deserving of love and kindness. Finding comfort and security in another person is undoubtedly comforting it is I love when people somebody can be your safe space. I mean it feels great but it's essential to remember that true happiness and fulfillment comes from within yourself it starts with cultivating a genuine connection to ourselves nurturing our passions and prioritizing our well-being when we learn to love ourselves we radiate a confidence that is irres- y'all it's so yummy It's irresistible to others. I mean, it sets you apart. It's undeniable, okay? And we no longer, in this part, we no longer seek validation from external sources because we have already found it in ourselves. We become more discerning about relationships. We become, uh, we start choosing those who uplift us, support us, rather than those who diminish our light, our self-worth. Self-love empowers us to set healthy boundaries, to speak our truth, and to pursue our dreams unapologetically. We realize that we are deserving of love, respect, and happiness, and we refuse to settle for anything less than that. Okay? It's okay to struggle with self-love. It's okay to struggle with it. We all have our moments of doubt and insecurity. But remember, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of love and acceptance just as you are. You are enough. Embrace your uniqueness and your imperfections for they make you who you are. This beautiful, beautiful human being that you are. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you just like that. Okay? So start each day by looking in the mirror and affirming your self-worth. Treat yourself with compassion and kindness. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. And start doing what you love. And gradually you will find the love and security that you once saw in everybody else inside of you. You are your own safe space. You have the power to love yourself wholeheartedly and create a life filled with love and authenticity. Trust in yourself, y'all. Trust yourself. Believe in your worth and let your light shine brightly so the world can see it. When you become your own safe space, it feels empowering and liberating. So you ask, Joy, how can I embark on this journey? How can I become my own safe place? Okay, and here's a few steps to help you. Step one is all about, it's all about being real and embracing who you truly are. No mask. No pretending. It's about celebrating the things that make you unique, the things that make you human. And when you can start to fully accept yourself and love yourself just as you are, you lay down a foundation of self-love that is unshakable. Let your authenticity shine and embrace every aspect of you. Remember, my friends, you got to remember this. There's only one you in this world. And I say this all the time, and I'm probably going to say it in every episode. It's only one you in this world. And that is something truly special. Embracing who you are means letting go of the need to conform to other people's expectations. It's about honoring your desires, your true passions, your values, even if they may be different from anybody else. Embrace your talents and say yes, even to your imperfections. They are all a part of who you are, y'all. 
okay you send a powerful message to the world that you are worthy of love and acceptance just as you are when you accept yourself it's a solid foundation it's a solid foundation because when you accept yourself wholeheartedly you give others permission to do the same so let go of the fear let go of the doubt and embrace who you are and celebrate the amazing person that you have become okay remember you are enough you are enough okay so what we're we gonna do we're gonna start accepting ourselves we're gonna start accepting ourselves here on the couch we focus on healing in every way including our finances financial peace of mind is important to me and that's why i bank with chime chime is an award-winning app and a debit card with no hidden fees or monthly minimums y'all and y'all know we need that it's the banking of the future since it's 100 percent mobile and online chime offers a ton of awesome features users get fee free overdraft on up to hundred dollars in debit purchases with spot me it's like overdraft protection but way better you can get your paycheck benefits, stimulus check, and tax return up to two days earlier with direct deposit. Come on, y'all. They have automatic saving features where you can automatically save a percentage of your paycheck or you can round up your purchases made with your debit card and save that amount. There are no hidden fees or no monthly minimums. This is a steal. Y'all, start banking with Chime today. So sign up for a Chime checking account today to link your paycheck. It only takes two minutes and it doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com forward slash TCWJ. That's Chime.com forward slash TCWJ. Step two is all about taking care of yourself in a real and practical way. It's about making yourself a priority and giving yourself the love and compassion you deserve. Take the time to do the things that bring you joy and peace, whether that's going for a walk in nature, reading a good book, or simply taking a relaxing bath. Find activities that nourish your body, your mind, and your soul. And here's the important part. Be kind to yourself. We all stumble and make mistakes along the way. And instead of beating yourself up, treat yourself with kindness and understanding and forgiveness. And remember, you're only human. It's okay to have off days and make wrong choices. It's okay. Give yourself permission to learn and grow from all those mistakes and experiences. So my friend, prioritize self-care by doing the things that bring you joy and peace. And remember to be gentle with yourself when things don't go as planned. You deserve all the love and compassion in the world. So give it to yourself first freely and you will feel safe with you. Number three, we're cultivating a positive self-talk, okay? The way we talk to ourselves has a profound impact on our self-image and self-worth. Pay attention to your inner dialogue and challenge the negative self-talk. Replace self-criticism with self-affirming and empowering statements. Practice self-encouragement, encourage yourself, and acknowledge your strengths and talents and achievements, and surround yourself with positive affirmations, whether they're written notes, this podcast, which affirms you daily and supportive communities and people. Remember, you deserve to be uplifted and you deserve the support that you give to everybody else. You deserve it. OK, what else are we going to do? We're going to start trusting our intuition and make in decision making. Trust your intuition and your decision making skills. y'all. You develop trust in your own judgment and intuition. You have to trust in your own judgment and intuition you feel confident in making decisions that align with your values and aspirations knowing that you have your best interest at heart so that will allow you to start feeling safe once you start trusting your own intuition and listen to your own voice okay what else emotional resilience you cultivate emotional resilience which allows you to navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease you develop healthy coping mechanisms and self-care practices that help you bounce back from setbacks and challenges, okay? Boundaries and self-protection. You establish healthy boundaries to protect your emotional well-being, 
you recognize your needs, communicate them assertively, and prioritize self-care. This creates a sense of safety by ensuring that your boundaries are respected by others. And the more people respect your boundaries, the safer you will feel within yourself. Because you set those boundaries for yourself, and when people start respecting them, you'll start feeling the safety, okay? You got to celebrate your achievements. Take the time to acknowledge and celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how small they seem. And the more you do that, and the more you don't downplay what you do, you start feeling safe, knowing that you can accomplish what you set out to do. Keep a journal where you can document the successes and moments of your progress and reflect on them daily, okay? Recognize your unique qualities and values that you bring to the table, and not only that, but to the world, okay? Foster self-discovery. Self-love involves getting to know ourselves on a deeper level. Set aside time for self-reflection and introspection. Explore your passions, y'all, and make sure that you're engaging in activities that allow you to connect to you, not doing what somebody else loves, not listening to the music that they love, but you doing you, not learning skills because they doing it, but you're picking up stuff for you. The more you understand yourself, the better equipped you'll be to honor your needs and desires. And no one will come in your space to give that to you. You've already given it to yourself. Okay? Inner strength and self-empowerment. You become <laughs> your own safe place when you tap into your inner strength and your own self-empowerment. You develop a deep sense of self-trust and belief in your ability to handle whatever comes your way. Okay, you feel free to express your true self without judgment, without fear and without rejection. This fosters a sense of safety in being seen and understood for who you truly, truly are. Being your own safe space is a transformative experience. And it cultivates a deep sense of self-love, self-acceptance, and inner peace like no other. It allows you to navigate life with greater confidence, resilience, and authenticity. It provides a solid foundation for your personal growth, healthy relationships, and overall well-being. So you got to ask yourself, what nourishes my soul? Why do I keep seeking this comfort and this joy in somebody else and not myself? You got to start asking yourself these questions and start aligning with the values and aligning with what makes you feel alive. Okay? Start indulging in the things that make you feel good. So my friend, my friend, my friend, it's time to be unapologetically free from everyone else's view of you, what they can do for you, and we're gonna start adapting to what I can do for myself. So when I do merge with someone else, they're not making me who I am. I'm, they're just merging, we're merging, that's it. And remember, by honoring your needs, you create space for the authentic, joyful life you deserve. You are worthy. Once again, you are worthy. You are worthy of a life that aligns with your truest self. OK, and as I conclude, I want you to remember embarking on this journey of self-love and becoming your own safe place is a beautiful, beautiful process. And it takes time and it takes patience and it takes commitment to nurturing your well-being and learning to love you and learning to trust that you got you. Embrace self-compassion. Be gentle. Make sure you're diving into what you love and celebrating everything that you've achieved. OK, and as you navigate this journey, remember to be gentle. Remember to be gentle and remember to surround yourself with people who see you and who love you and who can support you in this. So until next time, until next time, be love, be light and be you. Peace. <laughs>